hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebraic math problem which is x plus y is equal to 2 and x square plus y square is equal to 34 so here first of all let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second now from the equation number first x plus y is equal to 2 here we will take square on both sides of this equation so this will become this is a positive algebraic identity a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b but here a b is x y is equal to 2 square is 4 now next we will replace this x square plus y square with its value that is 34 from equation number 2 so this will become 34 plus 2 times xy is equal to 4. Here we will take this 34 to the right hand side. 2xy is equal to it will become 4 minus 34. So here 2xy is equal to 4 minus 34 is minus 30. Now let us divide both sides by 2. This 2 and this 2 will be cancelled and 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 15 is 30. So here we will get x times y is equal to minus 15. Let us suppose this is equation number 3rd. Now here we will use again equation number 1 which is equation number 1 implies x plus y is equal to 2 now here we will shift this x to the right hand side so this will become y is equal to 2 minus x let us suppose this is equation number 4 now here we will substitute this value of y from equation number 4 in equation number 3rd so equation number 3rd will become x times y is equal to minus 15 so here we will replace y with this value so this will become x times 2 minus x is equal to minus 15 so further it will become 2x minus x square is equal to minus 15 now here we will take minus 15 to the left hand side so this will become and let us rearrange these terms minus x square plus 2x plus 15 is equal to 0 here you multiply this equation by minus 1 to make the coefficient of x square positive so by multiplying this equation with minus 1 it will become x square minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0 so here it is a quadratic equation so here we will try to solve it by factorization method so the two possible numbers whose product is minus 15 and sum is minus 2 are 3x and minus 5x so that in the next step we will replace minus 2x with plus 3x minus 5x so this will become x square and it will become 3x minus 5x minus 15 is equal to zero now here from the first two terms we will take x comma so it will become x plus 3 and from these two terms we will take minus 5 comma so taking minus 5 comma x plus 3 will be left here is equal to zero now from this expression and this expression we will take x plus 3 comma so taking x plus 3 comma here x is left and here minus 5 is left is equal to 0. Now we will solve this equation further here. The last equation is x plus 3 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. So here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So we can write them as x plus 3 
will be zero or x minus five will be zero. So from here we will get x is equal to minus three, and from here we will get x is equal to plus five. So here we have two different values of x. Now here we will find the corresponding values of y. Now to find the corresponding values of y, we will substitute this value of x in equation number four. This one equation y is equal to two minus x. So the value of y will become equation number four is y is equal to two minus x. So here first we will substitute x is equal to minus three. So y will become two minus minus three. So two minus times minus is plus plus three. So y will become two plus three is five. Now here we will find the value of y using this value of x. So the equation is y is equal to two minus x. So y is equal to the value of x is five. So it will become two minus five. Two minus five is minus three. So here we have two solutions of x and y in this problem. These two solutions are x y is equal to. The first solution is x is equal to minus three and y is equal to five. And the second solution is x is equal to plus five. And y is minus three. So finally, x y is equal to minus three five and five minus three are the two possible solutions of this nice algebra math problem. And last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.